Hello everyone, welcome to Lisa Horton Crafts. My name is Natalia. Today I will show you how I will be stamping texture stamps with lots of different color inks. So for this um, video I'll be using a different color card stock. I'm using smooth card, a plain card and watercolor card. So I'm using my ultimate platform and here I'm using painted stripes texture stamps. So I'm positioning the uh, card to a platform and I'm using um, Distress Excite inks. I'm starting with the lighter color ink and I'm applying to the stamp uh, randomly and adding another color ink, slightly darker, uh, to the stamp. Darker color at the end. So here I'm spraying slightly uh, water to the stamp and stamping. If you really worried um, to use um, inks on top of each other, you can start with the lighter color ink uh, only, uh, remove it and add another color ink on top uh, separately. I'm using this way and I'm trying to not fully cover the ink. And also I'll show you how I'm, clear, um, I'm cleaning the inks on the top in this video. So I'm continuing to stamp by adding more inks and pressing hard. Here is the background. So I'm cleaning this stamp now and using microclothes and spraying some water to the stamp. And now we'll be using um, another set of inks. So again, I'm starting with the lighter color first and adding other colors on the top. And stamping. So here I'm using plain card. Continue to stamp. Spraying a little bit of water. And here is the background. So here I'm using a watercolor card, which is slightly smaller than the other card. And I'm using copy paper underneath and marking and watercolor card on top. So here I'm adding pink and purple color inks. And stamping. So I'm using my sleeve to slide hand around on top. And here I'm adding more water. And pressing again hard. So here I've decided to add more pink color and lilac color. I'm using the same color inks uh, for other, another card, a uh, plain card, uh, which is 250 JSM. So I'm trying not to use too much water just a really small amount. So I did a bit of water and stamping. So here I will add more inks. So as you can see, um, by adding lots of different color, it'll give you a uh, more uh, texture and um, different color background. So here I'm showing how I'm cleaning the uh, ink pads. I'm just using kitchen towel and I'm just um, 
taking the surface of the other color ink from the top as you can see pink uh, ink pad is really mucky so here I'm using um, another set of um, inks uh, green and blue and I've decided to stamp completely solid one color first which is a uh, cracked pistachio and I'm stamping first So now I will add a darker color just randomly to this um, stamp and stamping. So here I made a darker color ink, which is blue, to create more texture. So I'm spraying a little bit of water at the end and and press down again. So here's the background. Uh, in this one, I'm using smooth card, and I've started already to with dried, dried marigold. And second one, I'm using abundant coral, and I've just removed some of it um, ink, so to have the straight line of the inks. And here, as you can see, I'm. Um, made randomly um, the edge between um, color inks so I'm applying more um, red color to the center and I'm adding some from the top uh, just taking some of the top away and adding more um, lighter color ink on the top so you're just um, just stamping and not adding any water so now we'll be creating two cards and I'm using a nested flux uh, to create shape cut. So I've they cut the la two largest uh, flux and I'm adhering um, strong tape to the escort line and joining the two flux together. So here's the uh, base, base card and I'm adding some foam parts to the smaller flux and here I'm already die cut um, alphabet dies uh, from Guinea alphabet die set and I'm adding uh, to the bottom a um, little bit of ink and also I'm using some of the stamps um, from the happy in birthday stamp sets and die and I'm using a uh, father's day and happy and I'm stamping with Versamark ink to black card So I'm hitting both the uh, sentiment and I'm cutting out. So before I'm um, adhering the alphabet and flag um, to the base card, I'm just uh, positioning first, just to see how it looks um, before applying them. Here I've die cut lots of letter D and I'm joining them together. I've probably die cut around, joined them together around six or seven, just for dimension. And I'm using only on one letter D. So it will be level up, uh, will level up with the uh, flag. And here I'm adhering the inky letter D. So now I will adhere the little um, inky background um, flag to the card with the foam pads. And now I'm just positioning the letters and sentiments to the card again, just to know where to adhere the letters. And I'm starting with this letter uh, to adhere to the card, and I'm using tweezers. And I'm continuing to add um, another letters forward that. So 
So this card it will be perfect for my uh, father-in-law, which is um, Father's Day coming soon. So here are the sentiments, and I'm partly um, adding 3D foam tape to the back and some uh, wet glue, and I'm adhering to the card. So I've decided to add something um, to the corner and I had in my stash uh, little stars so I added them to the card. So here for another card I'm cutting uh, halfway the inky background. And here I'm creating a base card which measuring about uh, five by seven inches. So I'm scoring the card. So here's my card. And I'm using one of the circle from um, ornamental uh, die set. And also I've die cut a large stitch alphabet. A word dot. And I've die cut each letter three times. And here I'm adding uh, some of the inks to the top and to the bottom with the brush. So I'm adding some um, blue ink to the edges of this um, inky background. So I'm adding um, the inky background with wet glue to the front of the card. And here I will add a circle uh, with the foam pads for dimension and I'm adhering to the front of the card. So now I will uh, glue um, the letters together. So before gluing, I'm um, the word dot and a sentiment. So I've added a sentiment sticker uh, to the white card and I'm cutting all the way around, uh, leaving white border. So I'll position the uh, word dot first. I'm gluing letter A first. and continue to glue um, the other letters. So I'm adhering uh, 3D foam parts uh, back to the sentiment and I'm adhering to the card. And here again I'm using some of my um, little stars uh, to the corner of the card. So here is the card. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and inky backgrounds. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more video tutorials. Take care. Bye.